Good evening. In last video, I have discussed about ARDL model for two series in which we have discussed about one dependent series and another independent series. In this video, I'll discuss about how to run ARDL if there are more than two series or two variables. So let's start. There are three series, series of GDP, interest rate and WPI. I'm going to check the impact of interest rate and WPI on GDP. It means GDP is dependent series whereas interest rate and WPI are independent variables or independent series. So what I did, first and foremost, I have tested the stationarity of these three series in which I found that these variables are stationary in combination of IO and I1. Then I have found lag for these three series. So now I'm going to run ARDL for more than two series. So the command for recalling ARDL is D lag M then just enter. Finally, I'm going to run or I'm going to store the value of ARDL in model 2. So what is command? Command is ARDLM formula equal to dependent series and independent series and again independent series. It means there are two independent variables. One is interest rate and another is WPI. Then data equal to name of the file in which the variables have been saved. Then P equal to 2. It means lag of independent series like in interest rate and WPI is 2. Then Q equal to 2. It means lag of dependent series. After writing this command, simply I press on enter. So now what I find? I found model 2 because I have saved the value of ARDL in model 2. After writing this, simply I write here summary and then model 2. Just press on enter. Well, so these are the output of ARDL where variables are more than two. So let's read about this x1t. It means my x1 is, it means my first independent variable is interest rate. Then second one is WPI. So x1t, it means current year of interest x1.1 it means last year of interest rate then x1.2 it means lag 2 of interest rate finally x2. t it means it is talking about WPI of current year. 
similarly wpi of last year and this x2.2 it means two years back of wpi now y dot one which signifies the last year of gdp and y dot two it represents last two years or two years back of gdp so out of these entire variables we found significant of y dot one it means all variables are insignificant except this y dot one so simply you can say that last year of gdp impacts significantly to the current year gdp rest of the series are insignificant that is all about how to run ardl in case there are more than two series thank you very much